For some reason, I've always felt like Stardew Valley gives really similar vibes to Ghibli films. Maybe it's the whimsical nature, the romance, or the mysterious long-haired tortured soul who sweeps you off your feet, but I wanted to take it a step further. So today, we're going to be having a look at 8 Stardew Valley Ghibli mods to completely enhance your game. The first mod we're going to be looking at today is actually a total redesign mod pack the the issue of this mod it combines mods from nexus that is still around and xmb mods that haven't been updated since stardew 1.3 so to use this you kind of have to break the game a little bit i do not yes, recommend not using girl. this mod if you are not super proficient in modding because the first mod we are going to be looking at is the japanese countryside mod pack this mod turns the entire game of stardew valley every single part of it into this japanese countryside aesthetic and it is it's it's gorgeous for the ghibli setting i feel like this is the best that i could find the nexus mods it includes are uh, japanese building japanese decorative buildings japanese style bus daisy interface elegant interior japanese wallpaper and flooring and simple foliage and the outdated mod that it uses is the Japanese Town Way Back mod, which turns, and this is personally my favorite part of the mod, it turns all the buildings in Pelican Town into old Japanese countryside buildings. How fucking sick is this mod? It is so, so cute. Look at the saloon. It, this mod is gorgeous the biggest issue i found is that it was never updated to be a content patcher mod so to actually have this in your game and i almost broke my game doing this you need to literally take out files from the stardew valley game file and replace them but i think it's worth it if you want to go for this aesthetic and i think it's time we have a look around town I just tried to walk up until the balcony and realized I couldn't do that. And this is actually a door. My bad. Everything's kind of like toned down on the inside. Hi, Abby. Oh, I almost talked to the villagers, but I can't talk to the villagers. That's a mod I want to show off later, which is, in my opinion, the best looking mod. Dude, Pierre, bro's living in luxury. Look at this. Look at it compared to, <laughs> compared to Pam. At least Pam's house doesn't have wheels this time. Like, I think that's an improvement, you know? I like all the tree redesigns. Oh, and the graveyard too. Why is there a giant pumpkin here? Did you grow this, Evelyn? You did well. Oh, should we go see what Marnie's ranch looks like? I want to see what Cinderset Forest is like. Oh my god. Oh, Leah's house is so cool. She can sit with a little glass of sake. Oh, Marnie's ranch got huge. Look at that. Hey. Oh, we are surviving the winter. Oh my god, Shane's floor no longer has stains on it. That's the biggest improvement so far. <laughs> I feel like a lot of mods like this usually skip the wizard's tower. It's I don't, I don't know if they would have done anything for it. Is that a temple? Someone who's more like knowledgeable about Japanese culture. Is this a temple gateway? It is? That is so sick. This might be my favorite redesign yet. Oh, Hat Mouse's house. Oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> Oh, he's actually here. He's in there somewhere. This mod pack was put together by a YouTuber called, I'm sorry if I mispronounced this, Wisu Nug, who did it for mobile. I was actually looking for a mod that would change the town to something that was like a Japanese countryside. And he managed to put together an entire mod pack that changes everything, which I really appreciated. It's, the only issue is that it is using old outdated mods. Oh, they've actually turned the bathhouse into a hot spring. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> I like the steam coming off of it. That is so cool. Can we go inside? No, it's still the same. Now, I will put up a mod that is also outdated that I know does turn the bathhouse into a hot spring, but I couldn't get it working. This looks badass as hell. If the Adventurers Guild looked like this in the actual game, I might actually remember that it's here. Well, I like the Tory gates that are around town. I think those are very nice. Jojima kind of looks like a factory, but like a spooky factory. Like, why is there a pumpkin up there? Since this mod is a XNB mod that is very outdated, uh, and if it is a bit too scary to download, since you need to literally replace 
in-game files, I would suggest using the Angels Japanese Buildings mod instead because that is a more modern mod. It is a shame this mod was never updated. You can still use it. It's just please, please know what you're doing when you use it. While the world may look like a Ghibli film chat, we actually want it to feel like a Ghibli film. What better way to do it than to put the actual characters of Ghibli films in the game. So the next mod we have is the Ghibli Critters mod. This mod changes all the critters within Stardew Valley to be from the movies. Okay, apart from the bluebirds apparently, place we could go, look, what was that? Do you see that? Was that the suit sprite from Spirited Away? Is that a woodpecker that's turned into Totoro? Is he gnawing on that tree? Wait, don't get too close. Oh, he's falling away. No, Totoro, come back. Oh, there it is. Wait, chat, look, there they are. Just little guys hanging out. Are they called Kadama? It's the dudes. Oh, and look at them fly. Wait, that was so sick. The way they jump around. Oh, this is the best one. Oh, look, look at the little guys over there. Oh, what the fuck was that? Do you see that little Totoro run into the tree? The next three mods are simply recolor mods to turn the world a bit more lively. The first one we're gonna have a look at, very simple. I already spoiled it for my Twitch chat. The bus becomes cat bus. It's, it's, it's fucking sick, it's sick. While Pam's taking a sweet, sweet time to get to the bus, I'll show you the next mod. The next mod we have, you had to go to the secret woods for it. In my opinion, the secret woods is the most magical place in Pelican Town. And to make it even more magical, you can now have a big, fat, sleepy Totoro <laughs> standing there. Just, that's it. That's the mod. Totoro relaxing in the forest. He's just having a little nap here. It's way better than the weird old man statue that's usually there. What happens if you give him a gem berry? Should we try it? Whoa, he's smiling. Oh, I don't, I actually don't like him smiling. Go back to, go back to, please go back to closing your mouth. Oh, he gave me a star drop. You found a star drop. It's strange, but the taste reminds you of men. This is an old save. It's, it was for, a, it was for a mod and it was an old save for a mod. That's the Totoro mod. I've been waiting here since 7 a.m. Oh, she's in the, she's in the mouth. <laughs> she's in the mouth. That was, <laughs> that was worth waiting just to see her in the mouth. This one was so cute. I had to install it and show it off because he's one of my favorite characters in any Ghibli film. The next mod turns your cat into Gigi from Kiki's delivery service. It's literally just the, the New York accent cat. Look at him. We're so Kiki coded. I couldn't change the bow to be red. It's the closest we're gonna get. Chat, the next mod we're looking at is the Ghibli Scarecrow replacement mod, which turns all the rare crow into characters from Ghibli films. I think this is absolutely adorable. We have um this character that I don't know the name of. You got No Face, which is really cool. You've got Pig from Porco Rosso, which I think is just called Porco Rosso. Another Totoro, Princess Mononoke. Did I get that right? You've got Gigi, you've got a robot, you've got the Baron. Chat, I had no idea. The Scarecrow in Stardew Valley is from Howl's Moving Castle. Do you know how much I lost my mind the first time I watched, I watched Howl's? And I was like, oh, that's the, that's the, oh, oh. I didn't know. I had no idea. But aren't these cute? I think that my favorite one is um, Porco Rosso because he looks so funny. For this next mod, it has to be raining. And we have to go take a quick visit. Th this guy, the old mariner. We have to get the mermaid pendant from him. It gives us a crystal amulet. It's such a simple mod, but it's so cute. Instead of the mermaid pendant, you get the crystal amulet from Hustle in the Sky. I, 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 I haven't seen this movie, but you get the crystal amulet from it. It's all little touches that make the world more, feel more alive. But this last mod is not little. It was actually a massive work for the creators to put together. Because this last mod is a Ghibli portrait mod. Hello, Nino. Hello, Elliot. Or should I call him? Howliet. Howly. He's Hal from, he looks like Hal's from Hal moves, Hal's Moving Castle. This mod is the Ghibli Valley mod, which changes all the portraits in Stardew Valley to look like Ghibli characters. It's so good, chat. I'm pretty sure all the characters were literally modeled after like normal Ghibli characters. Here you go, buddy. 
He's so cute. Wait, I can't believe I've just said Elliot's actually cute. I need to see the rest of the village. Hi, Linus. I mean, it's an improvement. They just made him sexy. Oh, she looks like um the artist that lives in the forest in Kiki. Actually, when I was watching Kiki's delivery service, you know who the artist reminded me of? Leah. The whole time I was watching Kiki, I was like, she's just like Leah. Leah. It is. It's like a one to one. That's so sick. That fits so well. Did they make you hot, Lewis? Oh, they did. Dude, they made him a hunk. Wait, Marnie, you know who Marnie would be really good as? The baker. Marnie's got big baker from Kiki's vibes. Dude, the style fits so well. Oh God, Jess. Um, she's May from Totoro. She's got the forehead for it too. Harvey, hello. They wiped the mustache off the face of the planet. He just kind of looks like a dad. Gunther, are you different? Wait, <laughs> no, he looks like Walter White, bro. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean to the mod. He just looks like, he looks like Walter White. Nito, I need you to get the crystals for me, Nito. Did they make you hot too? <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> it looks like a leprechaun, dude. I like it. It just wasn't what I expected. Evelyn's the witch. Wait, that's so spot on. I love that. Where's that big old fluffy Goku here? Wait, so what does his boyfriend look like then? Yeah, I see it. I see it. No, I see it. I see it. I see it. I think so far the bachelorettes are cooler, but I see this. Abby, are you going to be Kiki? I think this one's really good. <laughs> this one's really cute. This has got the hair. She's got the... This one's really nice. This one actually might be my favorite. We actually haven't seen any of these people yet. Oh, they did my girl so dirty. Oh, it fits so well. It's so spot on, but they still are so dirty. It works so well. It looks like how, it, this is actually what Pam would look like if she was in a Ghibli film. At least Gus actually got to keep his mo. Emily? Oh my God, Emily's better than her sister. She's Sophie from Howl's. Oh, she's so cute. This fits so well. Oh, if I actually had this mod, I think Emily would be the one I marry. This is one of my favorites. This is top three for me. Oh, she's so cute. This one's so good. Shane, did you keep your disgruntled, heavy, drunken look? He's very, like, clean. I guess people in Ghibli films don't really look, like, that bad, but Shane just doesn't have the same disgruntled, done-with-life look to him. He looks very preppy, like he's about to go for a jog later. Vince, buddy, what do you, what do you, what do you look like? That looks the most like their base game character. Yeah, this one is actually a slay. They did really well on this one. Surely Morris doesn't have one, right? Oh my god! I don't even know where that's from, but he looks so evil! Oh, he looks like he's gonna pickpocket me and then kick me in the shins! What a little gremlin! Oh, Krobus is no face! That's really clever. This one is smart. Sandy? Oh my god. Jesus, Lord Almighty. Oh, I was just telling my chat off for being down bad. Now look where I am. But thank you guys for coming along for the mod showcase. Any of the mods that you want to check out will all be linked uh, down below in the description. And while you're there, why not subscribe? It's free and, you know, pretty cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy these mods. Go watch your favorite Ghibli movie. Bye.